if you have to take him by the hand and take him to your farm and get a shovel out and show him this is what it looks like, you know, on my farm, and then have him go back and do that to his farm if, they, if those practices haven't been in place. And I'll just about bet you he'll call you back and say, we need to talk more. For us, it's been having a conversation with them about things that we want to try and why and how it's going to work and all of those kind of things. You know, this is the first year they've ever had cover crops on the farm, and we were probably the catalyst for having cover crops on the farm because I, su I suggested that maybe we would like to try it, and they said, we've always wondered about trying it, but we've never wanted to try it. Like, we've never been willing to take the risk. So at some point there, I think we're the the ones that are willing to take the risk and try it. I would say overall, it's it's all a conversation. It's uh, you know talking about what's important to them, what's important to us, what experience we've had, what experience our neighbors have had. So as I talk to a landlord, I say, well, that farm's your retirement, and I want to take care of it. I want to I want to be the one that uh, you can say, he did a really nice job of keeping this thing up, and I'm not going to get that kind of conversation without doing something different. A lot of the cost share programs at the state level are through the uh, state water quality initiative. So um, that's funding, cost share funding for things like cover crops. So uh, $25 an acre for first time users, $15 an acre for those who are returning. Uh, strip till and no till, there's cost share for that. And then a nitrification inhibitor, uh, cost share available for that. Um, so for those types of management practices, uh, you know, a tenant can apply for that, a landowner can apply for that. At a minimum, next fiscal year, we'll have an extra $15 million to put toward these types of practices. The first year was extremely obvious in how much labor I saved. It took a little bit of time to dial in the, the nutrient part of it. And that part of it over over time we're we're now saving 30 to 40 percent on input costs compared to what we were five six seven years ago you can be so much more efficient so much better at what you do have more time not only to look at your crops manage your crops but also time to be with your kids and your wife there's lots and lots and lots of opportunities to do different things we're going to try some new stuff with uh, sequestering nitrogen and holding that more in the soil. And, uh, and that's all attractive to these private entities, but it's also attractive to the landlord because now they can say that they're part of this too. They can tell that story. Uh, lots on nutrient management and grid sampling and things like that. Um, and one thing that we uh, have just been talking about for the last couple months is putting in a wetland, uh, a water quality wetland on one of our uh, areas of our farm. We use a nitrogen modeling tool and there's a ton, there's a ton of those out there. They're kind of hard to get access to because most of them are sold through retailers, but we use that for three years now on dad's farm. And uh, I am shocked how different the right plan was for each year. Once you start seeing the benefits of it, hands down, you can make changes that will be life impacting.